So thanks for stopping by. It's good to be here. Yeah, yeah. thank you. When did uh, when did you guys have a premiere? Last night. Last, last night. night. Last night. Yeah. How to play? Really well. Very nice. Thing. This was really positive reaction. Yeah. Very warm audience. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. Um, and this is your first movie, right? Yeah, my first feature. Yeah. And you've done why you've done shorts before? Exactly. I did a couple shorts before this. Yeah. And this is the. Uh, but yeah, this is my first feature. <laughs> um, and I, we we just had the team from Creep in here. Uh, both of yours are kind of movies that deal with the issue of intimacy in an online era, as vague and broad as that is. It's something that you're seeing increasingly in movies, whether it was. Her last year, probably a number of other movies that you could, you guys could list off for me. Um, you know, what what about this particular idea struck you and made you want to make a movie about it? Well, the idea that uh, contemporary technology and all the ways that we can interact with one another over, uh, you know, uh, Skype and any number of other technologies. Uh, there was something interesting about the way that they sort of both facilitate communication but also inhibit it at the same time, and that's strange paradox of uh, connecting people but also making it tougher to really create a strong sense of intimacy was interesting to me. Right. Yeah. Um, and so how did you, where did you jump from, where did you move from that particular idea? Um, well from that particular, well the start of it came from the idea of being thinking about a character who would potentially take a Skype relationship over a relationship in person. Someone right. who would prefer to conduct a relationship over Skype even though they didn't have to um, because there would be something about what you could get out of that relationship uh, having a certain amount of reward without uh, undergoing a certain amount of risk. Um, so that was sort of the starting point and uh, that was how it started to come together. Cool. And how did, how did you cast these, these two fine people? Oh, it was wonderful. Well, Kate I knew for a little bit because Kate and I went to school together at NYU. Um, and then I saw Kate in a film called Green and thought she was absolutely superb in it and uh, reached out to her a little bit after that. And uh, John I've been a fan of, was a fan of him on the newsroom, I'm a fan of him on the newsroom. And then I saw him in Short Term 12 at an early press screening actually, um, yeah. I guess uh, uh, just a little less than a year ago. Um, and I just thought he was phenomenal and uh, so I reached out to him after that. Yeah, that was the... Uh, my favorite movie at the festival year last year. Oh, cool! Thank you. Um, yeah, we did a screening for our we. So the the <coughs> rap has a, a screening series throughout the award season. We had Destin and Bree. Oh, and awesome! That. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good people. Um, what's it like for you being back here with a second movie? I mean, this time, I mean you're the, you're the star of Short Term Twelve, but it's ultimately more Bree's vehicle. Sure. Yeah. This is is you. Yeah. You know, I just feel really lucky. Uh, we had a really good time making the movie, and any, any excuse to get more time to hang out with with, with people that I, that I feel are like minded and, and I have fun with is great. And so, really, I'm just kind of here to have fun with them. Uh, but then at the same time, you know, you get to share this thing that we did with people, and it's been really, really cool that it's had a warm response. And last year was my first time coming to South by Southwest, and I, I had such a blast. And um, when I found out that. The, that our film got in, it, it, it made sense to me because it just feels like a good fit. It's a very friendly atmosphere here, and, and everyone I feel like is in it for all the you know same and right reasons. So right. it felt like a perfect kind of place to, to debut the movie. I'm so glad we get to. Yeah. Um, what about uh, John's acting, whether it's in short term or newsroom appeal to you? Because one of the mm -hmm. things that I noticed just even like in the first conversation between the two of you in the movie, <clears throat> you have this ability to convey a sincerity that never feels or stir fake. Um, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There were two. There were two particular things about John that really appealed to me. One is that John's extremely charismatic. He just has an innate natural charisma. <laughs> and uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just want to pop that for you. And there was something. And so there was something uh, really appealing about having a character who operates in a little bit of a moral gray zone who is able to, at the same time, keep the audience on his side uh, to a certain degree, uh, open up a route for empathy because of the fact that the character is charismatic and therefore likable enough that you can sort of not lose the audience entirely but all, while still having them be questioning his actions to a certain degree. Um, and, the, and the other thing is that John is, has a very cerebral 
quality about his acting. There's something about watching John, watching his face, where you can tell that he's thinking, and you can sort of see him thinking. Right. And I needed someone who could present a character who would have something of an analytical mode of thought, um, because he's uh, uh, sort of becoming a bit obsessive and putting this mystery together in the film. Um, and there's something about John's uh, manner that, that suggests uh, an intellect at work there. Keyword suggests. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the mystery in this case being that you two are, are dating virtually and you come to believe that you could be together in person because you're actually in the same area, right? Yes, I, I'm, we've started an online relationship having never met each other uh, in person and my character begins to suspect that perhaps she's de deceiving me. Uh, she's telling me that she's living in uh, Berlin for a while, um, but I start to suspect that she actually is uh, is in New York, and so that's really what sets the film into motion is the um, the, the fact that I feel that I'm that I'm being lied to, and I that I, I want to get uh, to the bottom of it without really actually even having the faculty to talk to, to talk about it. Like, I could very easily ask, but I instead the character goes on a kind of strange uh, exploration, honestly, to try and figure out the truth. Right. Without delving too much into any of your respective personal lives, is there some you know, correlation to kind of your own lives in this? Do you, have you noticed you know, speaking more with loved ones, significant others? Use it. Well, you know, <laughs> the character that I play. We, is, have, we have Samantha. From the character that, that I play is is I think wildly insecure and and uh, and and. Uh, kind of hides behind a, a veil of kind of false confidence. I don't yeah. have any idea what that's like. Uh, <laughs> so it was very, very hard for me. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, yeah, I, I definitely, you know, I, that's something that I relate to. I think the, the, the character is, is is unsure of himself um, and, uh, and and hides uh, behind some kind of crazy actions in order to, to kind of feel like he's on top of things. In the relationship, I feel like, you know, the whole reason that the movie happens is because... Um, he, he doesn't know how to stand up for himself and, and actually communicate and, and yeah. say, I have this strange feeling. And so that's one of the things that I loved about the film was that it, it happens all really because of this person. Um, he, he takes very active measures throughout the movie, but he's actually very passive at the same time. Um, and that was something that was really fascinating about it. And the fact that that came out of a kind of lack of intimacy and a lack of trust. It's really certainly something I can relate to. I've definitely gone off the deep end a few times in, in following uh, when it, when it comes to you know paranoia and, and trust issues and stuff. So. Kate, besides having the, the best jacket in the trio of a pretty nice jacket, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what interested you when you and Zach started talking about this role in the sure. movie? Um, I think the character engages in some morally questionable behavior and, and trying to get to the bottom of her motivations was, was uh, a very interesting challenge, um, I thought. But also, once I sort of delved into it, it was it was not very far leap for me to understand. Her. Right. And so, were you, when you guys were at NYU, were you that were you there for acting, and he was there for directing, or is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, we didn't really know each other very well at NYU. Yeah, it was more like mutual friends, and I knew who Kate exactly. was, yeah. and. Uh, but, and so then when this film Green came out, I was like, oh, I, I know who, that, who she is. I want to check that film out. Yeah, we just had, uh, had the people read that in for Wild Canaries. Yeah. Um, I, I have to ask just because it's in the water right now, but do you, do a lot more people ask you or come up to you now that House of Cards has come out? Um, yeah, not, not much. Not yeah? much. Um, yeah, not, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, because <laughs> you're wearing the hat. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, so I mean, what what have you pursued since film school? I mean, are you more interested in being in movies? Are you open to whatever role comes along? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I I, I studied uh, theater school, um, and but movies have always been uh, the thing that I, I was most passionate about. But, um, yeah, I would love to do some theater in the future. In terms of filmmaking versus acting and film, I want to do both. Right. Yeah. In theater, are you West Coast based, East Coast based? Uh, I live in New York. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, so what, uh, what do you hope or what do you expect is next for this movie? 
Um, you know, is this the kind of thing that you could see playing in a bunch of different theaters if it gets the right support? Is it something more for people to watch at home? I have no idea. And that's the best, <laughs> that's the exciting part, I think, about coming and doing something like this, is that, you know, you, you really don't know. Um, and it's always exciting that that's ahead of you to find out. Right. So whatever, you know, whatever path it, it takes will, will be it. Will be it. And, uh, um, it's uh, kind of like the moment right before that happens is very exciting because there's you know so many kind of avenues right where it could go. So I totally look forward to finding out where it where it you know where it belongs. Right. Well, I think it was on most people's lists of what movies they should check out for going to the festival. So That's that great. Usually, it's very nice. That helps. It's very cool. Um, Zach, what you I from my somewhat limited research, you also review movies. Yes. Is that complicated now that you're you're making them, or do you hope that you can just keep doing both at the same time? Um, yeah, I filmmaking is sort of my primary thing at the for the moment. I do want to keep uh, writing reviews. I really love reviewing films. Um, as far as uh, it being a conflict, I don't necessarily see it no, being I... that way. Just because it's the sort of thing where if my editor sends me something and you know I know someone who's involved or something, then I and that's happened before. Then I just have to recuse myself. And, so that's not a big deal. Uh, what do you so kind of how how often do you review movies? Um, I write a review for The Voice. Probably uh, it depends. I, I wasn't writing stuff while we were making this, so I've gotten back on more recently. But I'd say about once a week, one review a week. Are you going to review the Harvey? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> when the DVD comes out, that's not what I'm because it's already been talked about. Yeah. Like, what if you gave like gave, gave us really bad reviews? <laughs> <laughs> These actors are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Just start is. strong. Direction <laughs> fantastic. I was lost in the second act, finding the characters and actors. Too late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, how was this a was this a long shoot or was this one of those kind of three weeks in and out? It was pretty fast. It was about, about 18, 18 days. days. 18 days, yeah. It's pretty quick. Yeah. A lot of lot of stuff on the street in New York, which is always a little terrifying. Cause, um, you know, New Yorkers do not like to be told that they can't walk down a certain street because you're trying to make an independent thing. Right. <laughs> right. right. So, that dolly shot, I still can't believe we got that. Yeah, and there's a lot of very, um, you know, kind of uh, very bold, um, <laughs> kind of long tracking shots that, you know, that take place over, like, you know, an entire city block. It really blows my mind too. That, that there's one in particular that's several minutes long, and I think, I, I, to my mind, I felt like it, there, there was barely a take where something didn't, where somebody didn't like walk into the frame or yeah. look at the camera. But, yeah, I was gonna ask, were you blocking off particular blocks, or were you just shooting? No, we tried <laughs> to the best of our abilities. But uh, uh, there was one time in particular that I was where we were doing a scene, and a, and a, a guy in a van drove up. And was kind of idling, watching us as we did this scene. And uh, some of the PAs were trying to tell him to keep going, keep going. He was off camera, but right. they just didn't want the the van kind of there with its with its motor running. And so he finally decided to to drive to speed off uh, in the take, but not before he looked out the window and went, "Now nah, these ain't good actors." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I immediately started laughing. <laughs> It'll be on the DVD. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> yeah. Where were you guys shooting in New York? Was it all over, or was it in a particular borough? It was primarily in the East Village and in Bushwick. Um, and then there was one day in Greenpoint. But we kept it pretty local in those areas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's what's next for all of you? I know you have Newsroom starting up again soon, right? Yeah, I'm going to go through the third season of Newsroom uh, next month. It's going to start that. Um, and that'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about the two of you? Um, I'm in the process of editing my own film for the book. Okay, cool. What's the date? Um, it's a period piece. It takes place in 1861. Small town in Kentucky. About two brothers. Are sort of chafing. Yep. Role for you in it, or is it just writing? Small, small role. For me. And you, you gotta figure it out. Um, I'm starting to write my next thing. Yeah. Yeah. So get back into that after this festival's over. Okay. Well, what else should they know before I let you guys go? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. 
Go check out. Yeah, check out the check out the heart machine uh, when you can and where you can. Yeah, you can and uh, <laughs> if you want to see it, yeah, yeah. you know. We would enjoy that. Uh, yeah. if you watch it. We had a fun, very fun time um, uh, making it. It's true. Yep. It's true. We hope that you have a fun time when you watch when it. You watch. Well, thank you all for coming by. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs>